Welcome to Unit 1, The Principles of Journalism Making an Impact. In this video, we will continue to look at the principles of journalism. In other videos, we looked at principles related to gathering sources and telling the story. In this video, we're going to look at the principles that are about impacting people, meaning how people are affected by the articles that a journalist writes. We're going to talk now about the last four principles of journalism. Restraint, humanity, accountability, and empowerment. The first one of these principles is restraint. People show restraint when they stop themselves from doing something. Journalists show restraint when they stop themselves from writing things that could be bad for people. For example, sometimes people think the wrong person has committed a crime, and in the rush to break the story, his or her name and picture could be released on the internet. Now, this could have very bad consequences for somebody who has done nothing wrong. Showing restraint avoids hurting innocent people and creates a better story because when facts are verified properly, they have a better chance of being accurate and true. Journalists also show restraint when they allow their sources to be anonymous. This means that nobody knows their name. Journalists need to do this because sometimes bad things could happen to the person if their name was known. They might lose their job or possibly even get hurt. Another principle that a journalist must think about is humanity. This means caring about other people. Treating them with respect. Treating them as humans not just part of a story. In an earlier video, we said that journalists should be objective, not favoring one side or another. However, a journalist can be both objective in their writing and sympathetic to the people in a story. For example, journalists need to think about the feelings of a crime victim's friends and family, even when they're rushing to write a story. The third principle is accountability. This means that a person takes responsibility for their actions. They are responsible for the things they do. For a journalist, there are two types of accountability. The first is personal. A journalist must be responsible for the story that they write, balancing what the public needs to know and the rights of the people involved. Also, if there are mistakes in the story, a journalist must admit and correct them. The second type of accountability involves making the people in power responsible for their actions. People in power may try to hide their actions from the public. The job of a journalist is to shine a light on these actions and let everybody know what the person in power has done. For example, in a situation where drinking water has been polluted, the people responsible for making sure the water is clean should explain what happened and what they're doing to stop it happening again. The fourth principle is empowerment, which means giving power to people who do not have it. There are many people all over the world who are powerless. They have no control over how they live. They might be living in poverty, refugees, victims of war or natural disasters. A journalist's job is to speak for the people who don't have the power to speak. This is where ordinary people can become citizen journalists by sharing what they see with the world. We'll look more at the role of citizen journalists in a later video. 
So, to summarise, in this video we looked at the principles of restraint, humanity, accountability and empowerment, which are important for journalists to follow so that they can make an impact on people. So now we have covered all ten of the principles of journalism. Be sure to consider these principles as we explore journalism throughout the course. Next, check your journalism vocabulary with the following game. 